Ready? begin with a special prayer that customarily we say in a cemetery if we haven't been here uh, in a cemetery in the last 30 days so I'll have you in mind and answer Amin Baruch Ato Adinoi Aliheinu Melech HaOilam Asher Yotzer Eschem Badin Vezon Eschem Badin Vechilkel Eschem Badin Vehemes Eschem Badin Vyadei Amis Perkulchem Vuhu Osid Lachayo Eschem Olokayim Eschem Badin Baruch atah Adinoi Mechaya Hamesim. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who created you who lie here in judgment and brought you to death in judgment. He knows the number of you all, and he will eventually resurrect you and maintain you in judgment. Blessed are you, Lord, who revives the dead. Ato Gibar Loilam Adinoi Mechaya Mesim Ato Rablo Yeshia. Mechal Kelchaim Bechesed Mechaya Mesim Barachim Im Rabim. Semech Neuflim Verei Fechailo Matar Asurim. Mekayim and Manasseh Lashen Yafar. Mi Chamoy Chabal Kavurai Sumidai Melach. Melech Memes and Mechayo Matzmiach Yeshua. You are mighty forever, my Lord. You resurrect the dead. You are powerful to save. He sustains the living with loving kindness, resurrects the dead with great mercy, supports the falling, heals the sick, releases the bound, and fulfills his trust to those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, mighty one? Who can be compared to you, King? who brings death and restores life and causes deliverance to spring forth. Lecha ye oilam abo, o ye fez biltecha gavabo yaleinu. Le ye 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 mahois hamashiach, le ye indoime lecha moishiyeinu. Mizmor Ladavid, Psalm 23. Mizmor Ladavid, Adinoi Roi Lo Yechzor. Binois de Sheyar Bitseini, Ame Menuchois Yen Aleini, Nafshi Yeshoi Veiv, Yan Heini, Bemagle Tedek, Oi Leman Shemoi, Gam Kiele, Begait Salmo Voves. Lo yirara ki ato imadi shiftecha uvu mishantecha emo yenachamu ni taharoi. Lefonai shulchan neget zoi de roi di shanto vashemen roishi koi sirevo ya ya achtoiv vohoheset 
יהיר דפו ניקול ימי חיוי והשבתי בבית שדו עינוי ליועד איך יאומים It's sound by David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall lack nothing He makes me lie down in the green pastures He leads me beside still waters He revives my soul He directs me in the path of righteousness for the sake of His name Even if I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they will come for me. You will prepare a table before, I, before my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil, my cup is full. Only goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for many long years. We are here. to pay our final respect to Valerie Katz, Vola, Ben Rabbi Cheskel Akoyen. In the rush of life, there are many special people that we unfortunately do not get to know. Unfortunately, I did not know Valerie personally, but I did have the merit to say the last prayers with him this past Sunday evening. And as I, tell, I told his daughter, Isabel, this morning, it was something special, something unique. It's just me and him and God. And I sang songs and I said the final prayers with him. And it was really, uh, for myself even, a transformative moment when we think about life and the end of life, where everything of life comes together at that moment. You could, you know, 60, 70, or 38 years, no matter how old you are, you're really at that moment where everything else doesn't really matter at that moment when I said the prayers with him. Some of the dear family members shared some thoughts and I, will, uh, I feel honored to stand over here. But obviously what I will say doesn't do justice and therefore after I finish, uh, the dear brother-in-law Alex and his daughter will say a few words. We know that in the Jewish lexicon there are three words that describe a cemetery. Now we know that in Judaism we like sometimes, you know, two Jews, five opinions, but why the need for three names for a cemetery? And our sages tell us that really these are three perspectives of how we look at life. The first one is known in Hebrew as a Beis HaKvoris, the house of the, of, of the graves, the house of the burial. This personifies those of you life of just live at once enjoy life and forget about don't think about the end of life just enjoy it and as they would say it's ain't over until it's over but at this moment you know from a physical perspective life comes to an end the person is interred and that's called Beis HaKvoris it's the house of the burial but in Judaism there's another name which is called Beis Olam the house of the living or the house of eternity, Beis Olamim, which represents the neshama, which represents the soul. God created man in the most unique way, different than all of creation, where we have, let there be light and let there be the vegetation and so on. When it came to the human being, what did he do? He created the body and then blew into his nostrils a breath of life. And that is the neshama, that is the soul of a person, the soul of a human being. This signifies the concept of the neshama, which the soul never dies. The soul lives on for eternity. Our sages tell us in the Talmud that the neshama is compared to a beautiful gem, that wherever it is, it remains a gem. Even when you lose, God forbid, a gem, it remains a gem. The same is with the soul. The soul lived before it came down to this beautiful body a beautiful father, a beautiful husband, a beautiful grandfather, a beautiful brother-in-law, a beautiful brother. That neshama lives before and lives, at, lives, lives on after. And as the family described, a, an intelligent person, a hard-working man, he loved his family, he loved to make people laugh, he smiled, he made others smile. He smiled as his daughter told me, 
He smiled even in the most difficult of times when he was suffering, which means he recognized there was something deeper than just complaining about physical comfort. To put on a smile at a fellow Jew or a fellow human being is the greatest gift that the neshama gives us, that the soul gives us. The body really wants to focus on self, but the soul has the ability to transcend our personal you know, limitations. And as we just had in this past parsha, Be'af Dolarecha Kamocha, love your fellow as yourself. How can we do that? Only when we understand that on our soul level, our neshamas, our souls are united like brothers and sisters. From a physical perspective, I'm here and you're here, and we don't really, you know, you take my space, but from a soul perspective, it doesn't take up any space. We're all united, we're all like family. And that is the base, ha'oylam base ha'oylamim, the house of eternity about the soul. But there's something even greater, and that is, it's called the base ha'chayim, the house of the living. And that is, what our sages tell us in the Talmud, that the greatest, the great, one of the greatest sages, Rebbe, the author of the Mishnah said before he passed on, I need my children. You'd imagine a guy who had wealth, he was extremely wealthy, and he was the, one of the greatest scholars ever who compiled the Mishnah, the oral tradition, the oral Torah. And yet, the moments before passing, he says what? I need my children, because he recognized the, vul the vulnerability the fact that the moment that we pass on, the neshama doesn't have that ability, the soul doesn't have the ability to perform a physical deed in this world. And I'm sure that uh, the brother-in-law who learned with my father-in-law, this is also a, a personal which I just, just met on the phone. It's really an honor to be able to, to give back to a family that was so close to my father-in-law. who learned so much Torah with him, the idea of a mitzvah, a physical mitzvah. A physical deed where God gives us the ability to be able to connect in a sense where, you know, your daughter, uh, you said that he loved, he loved skiing, right? So how do you, uh, I, I, I mean, I went once with my father years ago, and, but no, I, I couldn't do it. I was a little boy. But I, I, I do remember going up on the, on the ski lift. I was thinking about it this morning that the ski lift represents this mitzvah. God, through a mitzvah, through a good deed, it's called the connection. We get into that, that capsule, the ski lift, and God lifts us up. There's moments in life, every mitzvah, a holiday, is where God lifts us up. Then afterwards, we have to continue skiing throughout many different hills and mountains, difficult moments in life. And, and Hashem gives us, God gives us the ability to be able to go through those difficult moments in life. But I was thinking at the same time, as you mentioned to me yesterday, that he, um, he was an engineer and he invented a special caterpillar for the tanks in Russia to be able to shoot even while they're going at great speed. It reminded me of the idea the Lubavitcher Chereba, blessed memory, uh, sort of instituted this new phenomenon that was called the mitzvah tank. Why was it called the mitzvah tank? It was, a, it was really like a, a rider truck. And then later on it evolved to a, an RV where Chabad boys, yeshiva boys would go in into Manhattan and into Brooklyn and now all over the world and they would offer people to put on tefillin and give out Shabbos candles and give out mezuzahs which I saw your father had a beautiful nice silver mezuzah on the door when I went to say the prayers and he had the Shabbos candles right there on the counter in the kitchen so those, this is the idea that they gave out and they called it a mitzvah tank why because the Rebbe said this is the tank that fights for the soul of the American Jew Jews came to America the turn of the century beforehand, but many of them, unfortunately, we got busy with assimilation, integration, and the mitzvah tank, a mitzvah, is what fights against assimilation. It fights to retain that soul and to retain and to perpetuate the life of a, a, a neshama that lived here in this world, that at the end of the day, all the good memories that we remember the physical aspect we can't hold on, we can't hold his hands like you were able to hold his hands two days ago. To sing with him, to pray with him. When I came in, his eyes were opened and he stopped for a moment to listen. I told him his name, I called him to find out his name. And he, you know, able to hear the heart, the heart palpitation that was going before and stopped. And then it continued. You know, he was breathing very heavily. 
But it means when, he, when I said those prayers, everything stopped for a moment. And that, he cannot continue right now. And the family have to make sure, the loved ones, the brothers-in-law, the sister, the daughter, the grandchildren, the, the uh, nephews, and so on, and the extended family have to make sure that they become the hands and the feet of our loved one. That's what we say when we're coming very soon to Yisker. We just said on Pesach. What does it mean, the idea of Yisker? When we, when we contribute to, 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 to Tzedakah, Chari in his memory means that he is actually giving it because we become the extension of our loved one. So my dear friends, as we have a Neshama, Reb Vola, Valerie Katz, in the moments before being interred in the ground, God Almighty, in the days before the giving of the Torah, as we're heading into Mat and Torah Shavuos, God asked for a guarantor. Who are those guarantors? The Jews offered their fathers, the Jews offered their, their prophets, but God said, not, you know, it's good, but not good enough. Ultimately, he said, the Jewish children said, the children, they will be the guarantors that the Torah continues on. A Jewish body and soul combines the Torah, as the Talmud says, the body of a person is like the parchment and the soul is like the letters on the Torah. As we, as a family, we have to make sure that the Torah will be living on forever. That Vola's life, Valerie's life will be perpetuated. We can continue those customs lighting the Shabbos candles. A neshama, a soul that represents life. The family will continue to bring life and to perpetuate his life with those good values of bringing a smile to another person, doing a mitzvah, doing a good deed, connecting with God. And that will make sure that very soon we'll be able to be reunited with him and his wife and the other dear families, as we believe, and we just said it in the blessing we said before, Mechaya HaMesim as God, will be the moment where the house of the living, all those who lived once will come back, will be resurrected and reunited with their loved ones. And this concept is not far into us, it happened already. Talk about Pesach, he passed away on Pesach Sheni, which represents, you thought about the Jews were able to get out of Egypt, who, who thought they could get out? But it happened. The same thing will happen very soon with the coming of Mashiach. And then we'll be reunited with our loved ones and we'll be able to understand the rhyme and the reasons for all the different difficulties, the challenges that we went through, that he went through in life. And then we'll be able to say, say to Hashem, Oitcha Hashem ki anaftabi, thanking God for giving us those moments. May it be very soon, speedily in our days. May God wipe away the tears from all our loved ones. And now I will ask Alex to say a few words. It is difficult. For 53 years he was, he was a brother to me. And I, like brothers do, laugh, we fought, we have differences. Friendship. We we were very close. Very close. Uh, you mentioned skating. It's interesting because Valerie Mula loved skiing. Peaks and valleys, snow, the craziness, the risk, exhilaration getting lost sometime. It was like his life. Peaks, values, risks, and exhilaration. And getting lost sometime. He was like all of us. 
we say that our goal in life to repair the world and struggle between good and evil. That's what he did all his life. Struggle between good and evil. But he was a very good man. He suffered a lot. He was genius. He was genius. Misunderstood some social inhibitions. But in what he thought and how he protected his thoughts was a very serious spark of ingenuity. struggle with a lot, trying to find himself, trying to fight the illness. Thank God he was surrounded all his life with ones who loved him. And who he loved, like a human. his faults and the blessings which he, which he brought to us. We'll miss him. He's smiling right now, I know that. He's smiling, looking down and trying to make one of his corny jokes. Very few people understand it. <laughs> he will say it's their problem. <laughs> but he meant so well in his life, even when he did things which are not kind of thing, but he loved life. And he was holding to it, grasping to it, regardless how difficult it was. He said to Laura, a week ago, I went away for seven years. By seven, I knew he had some plan. Some plan. He is with his maker. And uh, just to read the song in his memory. Shir de Malot, I see in I look at him, or yo yo yo, he did. Is he? Maybe Hashem, Shemaim, Laretz. Ali ten da motra glecha. Ali num shomrecha. Kenela yenum vilo isha shomer Israel. Hashem Shamrecha, Hashem Tzilcha, Al Yad Imenech. Yimam Hashemish Leikeka Vierei Balayla. Hashem Shamrecha, Minkolra, Shemcha, Ata, Nishmecha. Psalm that he just said, especially apropos Psalm 121, the going, God should protect his going and his coming, which is a reference to the soul coming into this world and the goal and the soul leaving. He said that Allah Malikti Ganadin should have a, a lovely, bright Ganadin is typically translated as paradise and it should be a good of better, a 
a great advocate for the whole family. And now uh, his daughter, Isabel. was saying and I was thinking about it this morning and last night and just laying there thinking about this and I'm like nobody is perfect we all have our imperfections and we all have our strengths and our weaknesses and some people have more weaknesses than others and some people show it more than others and even though he tried to not show it we all knew his weaknesses and Besides all of his weaknesses and all his crazy antics and we still loved him and we still did everything we could for him and I feel so lucky and so fortunate that this last couple months I was able to spend so many days with him and more days with him the last couple months than I have in a long time and we had a lot of time to sit and talk and um he would of course tell his jokes and I would always laugh and smile and nod and think, okay, like let's just talk more. <laughs> but I mean, there was so much more, there was so much more to him than just jokes, but his jokes were a way for, to make people smile because he always wanted to make people smile. He always wanted to make people happy. And that's why he kept so much in too. And I don't think he ever wanted us to feel pain or suffering. And I think he was suffering so much and he just never wanted us to feel what he was feeling. Um, and he loved hard, like the people that he loved, he loved hard and we knew it. Um, and Kevin wanted me to tell a story. So when he first went into the assisted living, um, he called me and he's like, I have Fiddler on the Roof sitting in my office. It's a CD. I need you to take it to Dot Camera and convert it to a DVD and then go make copies so that I can hand it out to everybody here that wants to watch it. <laughs> so I talked to somebody at Assisted Living and I was like, well, maybe we can do a special movie night. So we ended up doing that and he was just so happy. And then it turns out that 10 or more people went to see the movie and I told him and even though he didn't go and I was like this was your idea <laughs> even though he didn't go he was so happy that somebody else watched the movie and enjoyed it the way that he did so I mean there's no doubt he'll be missed he was a big part of our lives in good ways and bad ways and everything in between but he was my dad he was your brother he was your uncle he was he had a big part of all of our lives and and there's a lot of ways that you know we we're very lucky to have him there's so many good memories that we shared and he'll definitely he'll definitely be very missed and i love picturing him when he's just cracking up and his eyebrows especially when they were big and black and bushy and he would just laugh and his nose would scrunch up and he just couldn't help himself and that's what he always wanted he always wanted everybody to laugh with him so yeah thank you thank you words of the heart the born of my yotzim in life as i say just tell us the words that come from the heart enter into our heart at this moment before we're ready to uh to lower the the caskets We'll uh, first do everyone, family and other friends, you could personally ask for forgiveness right where you are uh, and, and also forgive. You know, like you said, no one is perfect. We might have had certain you know, moments that could have been a moment that wasn't perfect and therefore this is the time that we ask for forgiveness and we forgive with a, with a full heart. And then we will um, we'll do the Korea, the rending of the, of the clothing which is the beginning of the process of mourning. You know, it opens up the heart to be able to grieve, which the Torah doesn't shy away from it. We understand that a part of it has been ripped away. So we, we uh, render, you know, the part of a clothing close to the heart, representing a little part of our heart is missing. And also represents that it's only, it's only a physical aspect that's, that's missing, but the connection to the soul is always there.
two of you yeah. to stand. Is it possible to stand? Step back. Step back. Uh, yeah. Then you gotta step back. Step back. Doesn't matter. This is the cemetery rules. I'm sorry. Thank you. More than a few feet away. Yeah, 
about it. Maybe you could push it over yeah. close by. No, 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 push it all the way in. If what's it called? If it, if it lets me put the handle on no, in. No? You won't love to touch the back one. I'd rather not. Do as much as you can here if you want. Well, do they want to push it closer maybe? No, we're going to bring it up and push it all in. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to push it all in for it. Alex, Alex, you could tell them they could, yeah. they could all come back and we're, we're going to say the prayers in three minutes when we cover.
Just say it together with the daughter, the brother-in-law. Um, it's probably too long for them. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Oh, no, it's just the right. Oh, it's, too, it's too difficult. Ladies and gentlemen, just a couple more moments, if you could come closer, um, or you can stand wherever you are if you want to feel comfortable. I just want to mention um, Valerie's daughter, Lily, is not here with us today, and uh, but her son, Nathan, is right here, right in the back. So, uh, God should bless you and your mom with continuous health and success in everything that you do, and uh, as I always say, the living monument it's not just the matzevo the monument they were put on but really the living monuments that's the greatest the greatest testament to the person's life we will do now tzedek adin rabbi chaykin want to say i'll translate give the honor to rabbi chaykin this is uh tzedek adin which is called the justification of hashem's judgment Atzur Tommy Polly ki khodrakh of mishpat Eil emuno be in ovel tzadik be yoshor hu Atzur Tommy be khol peyal be yemar le matifo ashalit be mato be mal me misu macha yemeri cheil va yoal Atzur Tommy be khol masa be yemar le matase o eimer be se chesed khinom lo notase Obiskus hanek at kise akshiba vase, tzadik becholdroch of hatsur tomim, erechapa im molirachmim, chamil no bechusno al obisogonim, kilacho odin as lichet varachamim, tzadik ato ade noil homis of hakis, ashabiot hot pig den kolruches, tolilo loho zifrineino limches, be in a nechobrachamim or lane of kuches, kilacho odin arachmim as liches. Odom ben shona yia, ei elef shona miche, ma yisrael lek lehoyo yia. Boruch dayan ho emes me mesamachaye, boruch hu ke emes dinei, u mesheite da keo beinei, u meshalem lo odom chesh beine vidinei, ne hakeim mishmei edo yitainu. Yodai na adinoi ki tzedek mishpatecho, titzlak ve dobrecho, besis ki bishoftecho, ve ein laharir achal midashvotecho, tzadikato adinoi ve yoshem mishpatecho, dayan emes sheife tzedek vemes, boruch dayan emes, shekol mishpat of tzedek vemes, nefesh kolcha biyodecho tzedek, molo yimincho miyodecho, rachem al prifasen yodecho, veseimar lemalo cheref yodecho, Gedeil ho eitz over avan in the yo, ashre nech of kuches, al kodar heben yodom, losis leish kidroch of the hetrim al dolov, la hagid kiosher ade noi, tsuri bravlos obey, ade noi no son, ade noi loko, yehi shame ade noi me veroch, loho rach, mihape rob and bole yashkis, mir boloshibape bole yoyer ko famose. Say now the <clears throat> memorial prayer. And then we'll say Kaddish. El Mole Rachamim, Shoichein, Meroimim, 
המצאי מנוחה נכוינו על כנפי השכינו ומעלויס הקדושים ותוהו יודעים כזוהר הורוקי המזיידים אס נשמס ועולה בן מיכס כל הכהן שהולך לילום אוי ועבור שנות וצדוק עומד אסקוד אס נשמוס אוי בגן עדן תהי מנוחוס אוי כל חן בו לרחמים יסתירי בספר כנופיו ליועי לעמים ויצרוי בצדוי רחיים אס נשמוס אוי אדוי נוי ונחל עשוי וינוע חמש כבוי בשולוים ונוי מר אמן. God full of mercy who dwells on high give proper rest on the wings of the divine presence among the holy pure and glorious who shine like the sky to the soul of Vola Valerie Bani Becheskel HaKoyen For charity was offered in the memory of his name May the place of his rest be in Gan Eden, in paradise Therefore may the merciful one protect his soul in the cover of his wings forever and merge his soul, bond the soul with the bond of life The Lord is his heritage and may he rest in peace and let us say Amen Amen Huh? Amen Before Kaddish, we'll just say one psalm, and then we'll say Kaddish. Psalm 49. I'm not saying I'll live in a great army as much. She must always call on me when she's going to call it. I'm in a yard and I'm in a yard. I don't have any beard. I'm a cock. I'm a little bit of a noise. I told the marshal, I was in the beginning. I don't see. I'm a little bit made up. I'm a cave. So being a bit of a little 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 bit ויקר פית עיניו שם אחד עולה אלו, ויחי אוהד לו נצח לעיר השוח, אז כי ירך חכם יהיה מוסר יחד כסל דבר יבדו. ועוז הוא לאחר עם חיל ומכיר בו ואתם אלוהים למשכנס, ונדבר ודאי קר בו שמש מלא דמס. ועוד אמי קבל יום נמשל כבי מסנית מוזר דקם כסל למה ואחרי מפיעים ירצו סלו. קצה אין לישאל שאתם אבזירים ירדו עם ישון ומרבה כבצור ומובל אשרי וזוב אלוהי. אך אלוהים יבדה נפש מיד שוב כי גוחי ניסלו, אל תראה כי אשר יש כי ירבך בית וישוי. כי לא יבוא מי שיגך כל כלי ירד אחריו כבוי, דקי נאיר כי נפש שבחיים יבוא לך וידוך כסי תבלוך. טוב היה די לדבי סוב הנצח לא ירא אוי. אדם ביקר ולא יבן נמשל טוב בהמס נדמו. קינג דיוויד, סאם, קינג דיוויד in Psalm 49 basically describes that when we leave this world We can't any, take along anything physical. No gold, no silver, no jewelry. The only thing that we can take along is our good deeds, our loved ones, and all the things, the positive things that we did in life. And right now we'll say more in Scottish. Alex, we'll say loved.